You must awaken now. You are the melanin carriers on this planet. You were the original 12 stranded people and you were given that privilege through a whole lot of work in time. It was not something given to you by chance. Because you fell from grace and sought to make better than your creator, you suffered by that that you created and then also was brought to your planet that that you created in a higher form. In other words, once you think that you are a god, you must act godlike, not sometime, but all the time. Because once a god falls short, there are so many things that are not godlike just waiting to lapdog you up and tear you apart that you're open then to the whole holy cost of the cosmos, not the faked holy cost on earth. The real Jews, as you found out, are you. The 13 tribes had nothing to do with just earth people. It embodied Lucifer Maldek, the exploded planet, which rained down upon you those lost souls, which destroyed a whole planet in your system that you help sustain. Many of you are reincarnate Maldekians, Luciferians, and you probably don't even want to deal with that, but if it is truth, it will come back to haunt and vibrate. I'm style triggering all your opening points. We'll see which ones run with it. In the great role of play that is a planet, people are brought to it to learn and to show in physical embodiment, physical reality, in a lifetime, what they have learned in the heavens of Earth. What they have learned on the spiritual and mental plane is of no value until in a time when given a physical body, body with physical challenges, you see what you can do really under pressure. Time and time again, some of these best people failed. And time and time again, as they failed, it lowered the vibration of the planet until the planet was put into a coma. Thank you. The planet now wants to awaken. It is almost awakened, and the more you begin to channel in successfully this new energy through your pineals, through your melanin, your energy fields will attract more and more of cosmic light. Let's put this another way. Our sun was nothing more than a step-down transformer. Some people call it, if you're into physics, a transducer. It is now a capacitor. It is a step-up transformer. Whereas at one time it filtered out great light and energy that came from deep space, to our planet so that we could live under a sun and you remember the saying there's nothing new under a sun and there isn't in 59 it completely reversed its polarity and now it is sending forth energy augmented by the kind of what they call cosmic and gamma rays that are coming into it this year by this summer, you will begin to hear more and more about sunspot activity, solar prominences, perturbations, and how our sun is a deadly enemy about to annihilate us all because it is going to burn us up with x-rays and gamma rays. Not all of us. <laughs> Some of us, and who are the us's? Whoever are the chosen. How are you chosen? You choose yourself. By following the disciplines you know you should have been doing, not tomorrow, but yesterday. By doing the readings and the research and taking the time to spend in meditation, the things you thought you should have done five years ago, you start them immediately tomorrow. 
but not being threatened or coerced you do because of the goading mechanism within your own spiritual consciousness that's what you know you should be doing as though a policeman was there or mother was looking and you do better than both of those authoritarian figures because you are arising once you channel in that light for every one of you you're worth a thousand of non channelers because they're the dead they will not awaken you cannot wake for them if you do not do that in mass you will be subject to the technical prowess of a people who are soulless that now have control of this planet and if you're ready to go up against them I bless you if you're ready to go up against them alone I feel sorry for you for you will learn a lesson that will stay with you forever you cannot match them in their technology forget it what you knew subconsciously and what you know even as you hear the tone and tenor of my voice is true is that some way or another you could raise a spiritual quality that could match that in some kind of way you just didn't know how to go about doing it and you know that you had lost something and you wanted it returned you have that privilege now AIDS and every other man-made deceptive agent to stop you from progressing physically and cause your journey of life to end quickly will only be thwarted when you can raise your vibrational rates enough where none of those things can exist within that contact field and then those that met it and made it will meet out its suffering and suffer the same thing that they started the planet cannot help you to you vibrate high enough to take the light it's just that simple other than that you will be destroyed just like those that are trying to destroy your planet once again <laughs>